Yo, what's good, y'all? It's your man, the Bigger P. And I'm um, here with my thoughts um, from tonight's uh, Floyd Mayweather Miguel Cotto pay per view. Um, first of all, yes, it was an enjoyable night of fights. You know, I thoroughly enjoyed the pay per view. Um, first, we'll start off with talking about Carlos Quintana and DeAndre Lattimore. Now, personally, for me, when I first heard about this fight, I was thinking this would probably be the second fight. I mean, this fight, you know, out of respect, should have not should have been second at least. You know, considering that Katana is a former welterweight champ. You know, Lattimore, you know, actually went for a belt. Um, but what it was, it may turn out to be the fight, the only knockout of the night. You know, it was an interesting fight because originally I had actually bet. Well, actually, actually, in bet I predicted that you know Lattimore would probably take out Katana at some point because you know Katana's been really inactive since he got you know he got KO'd by Andre Berto, and I'm thinking to myself, um, that layoff Lattimore should have no problem. Imagine my surprise that Katana, you know, puts up you know again you know one of those unexpected you know victories and literally you know just beats you know you know beat the man down. You know, I was I was, was kind of upset about that. But nonetheless, you know, hats off to Quintana. You know, that was a great win. And uh, I guess it puts him back in the mix of things. You know, where he'll go from now, I don't know. But like I said, it was a good win. The second fight really should have been the first fight. Um, Vargas, Jesse Vargas versus Steve Forbes. This was boring. It was nothing more than a 10-round glorified sparring session. All Vargas did was, you know, you know, pretty much just, you know, that's best basically it was. It wasn't a fight of any meaningful thing. Vargas didn't try to take out Forbes. Forbes was just happy to be there, you know, to get another, you know, to get another paycheck. You know, I think he got like forty or fifty k um, tonight. There was nothing home to write about. Vargas easily won. Although I figured if Vargas could have really stepped up in the gas, Vargas could have stopped him. But you know, that's here or there. I mean, there's nothing really, nothing more to say about that particular fight. It is what it was. You know, it's a shame. At least Gomez probably would have made it a little bit more interesting, but eh, it's whatever, I guess. Um, third fight, you know, saw Canelo Alvarez versus Shane Mosley. Um, yeah, I mean, my feelings about this fight was Shane really is showing his age. Um, Shane should really bow out gracefully while he can. I mean, it was an interesting fight, you know, I mean... But the save was competitive, not really. You know, Canelo really lit, was lit, landing some combinations on Mosley. You know, his face was swollen up like Martin, you know, on that episode where he faced Tommy Hearns. You know, it was, it was actually disturbing to watch. And even more painful to hear him, you know, hear, hear Shane's, like, struggle, you know, struggle a little bit, you know, speaking when it was in that interview. I mean, Shane, you know, again, showed that legendary, you know, that legendary chin of his, because the shots he would have, I would have expected a, a far lesser fire to have actually fallen. But um, he stood up and, you know, took his punishment like a man. You know, Canelo, you know, for once didn't gas out. Um, he fought conservatively. Um, he, you know, he punched when he needed to. He took pretty much the first round off. It was whatever. And I was hoping that at least Shane would at least come alive and at least in one of the final three rounds. Because I actually had, and I actually made two bets on this fight. One, either Shane would actually score TKO in nine to twelve, or Canelo would go to decision. Well, I made I made good on one of my predictions <laughs> and one of my bets, but you know, for the sake of Shane Humble's, like I really hope he considers you know stepping down because I the last thing I want him to do is being a stepping stone, you know, you know for up and comers. He deserves much more than that. You know, so Alvarez Alvarez still needs a little bit of work. Um, he's not ready for no damn fight with Floyd, not in the least. Um, he needs to probably face someone a little bit more fresh or someone somewhere near his actual physical prime, you know. And at 154, there are plenty of those available. <laughs> All right, which takes us to our main event, uh, Floyd Mayweather versus Miguel Cotto. Spirited fight. Extremely, you know, Floyd... Uh, I don't say Floyd Miguel came, you know, had a game plan, and for the most part, he stuck to it. Um, I actually gave him four or five rounds, I think, 
But pretty much, you know, the sound you know, kept him in his chest. The jab was bothering Floyd. You know, got you no know, Floyd got his blood, you know, his nose busted. That's the first time I've seen Floyd like bleed in a fight in a while. It, it actually has been a while. I actually can't remember the last time I actually seen them. I mean, I would like to say it's the Emmanuel Augustus fight. You know, but that's damn near like 13 years ago. I'm thinking, or maybe that were the Castillo fight, the first Castillo fight. I think he was bleeding off there. Because that, I mean, that was a fight where he was just fighting desperate. But, um, yeah, but yeah, this fight was, you know, it was real good. You know, Floyd was doing his usual thing. But like I said, he, he was definitely bothered by the jab. The stage had kept it in his chest. You know, I, I really wanted Cotto to at least switch southpaw to at least take away, you know, take away that shoulder roll um, that Floyd was using very effectively uh, for most of the fight. Um, yeah, Cotto was, you know, hit, I mean, Cotto put up, you know, made Floyd work for his $32 million, um tonight. And he has nothing to be ashamed of about his performance. He put up a great fight, you know, although he did, um, although he did have that moment in the last round where he... You know, I guess uh, the uppercut made him do a little dance a little bit, um, you know, staggered him up. But um, he recovered, and, you know, if he had won that definitively, I would have said, yeah, the cards could have been a lot closer. I, don't, I mean, the scores are what they were, and I'm not, you know, I, I mean, I'm not going to disagree with them, you know, but I, th- I, I don't think they were, it was that one-sided. But nonetheless, it was a great, it was a good, it was a good fight, great fight. And both men really showed, you know, true grit. You know, Floyd got a little bit of a, a gut check. You know, Miguel had nothing to be ashamed of. Although it's a shame, though, that he, you know, after the decision was made, he just decided to leave the ring. I didn't know what that was all about. Uh, but I guess, you know, I guess we'll learn the reason at some other point. As for Floyd, I mean, where does he go? I mean, obviously he's going to jail. He's going to, he has to surrender to by June 1st, and he's going to go away for a little bit this year. I um, mean, but when he comes out, is he going to face Pacquiao? Only time will tell. You know, he was calling him out. He laid out, you know, clear, you know, yes, I want Pacquiao. We need to get this fight done. So I guess we'll just hold our breath for that. Because other than that, the only, the only other fighter I could to the currently today that I could see giving Floyd any type of trouble is Sergio Martinez. As Sergio is a lefty, a hard-hitting lefty, a fast lefty, and a bigger lefty. Um, and one who probably has more, le- I would say, either equal or less less wear and tear on his body than Floyd does. Uh, but, you know, but of course, Sergio's a middleweight. You know, Sergio would have to boil back down to 154. But, yeah, that's always an opportunity. You know, that, that would, that's always a fight that's on the horizon as I think Sergio does deserve a big fight of some sort. But, yes, Floyd impressed, you know, I, you know, he put up a good effort, great effort, and he won the fight. And overall, it was a good, it was a good main event. And Cota, where does he go from there? I mean, he's still in the, he's still in a hundred things. Like his, you know, he, he could try to give him a good game plan. But you know, this is the Cota that's already been through a couple wars already. It wasn't the Cota pre Margarita that I'm pretty sure would have probably been able to execute this a little bit more. It would have had closer scores on the cards. Um, but hey, you know. You know, 154 is still open. There's still a lot of contenders. So I, I don't think it would be that hard for Cody to get back in the swing of things after a good rest. Well, you know, that's my whole analysis. It's, that's my whole, you know, views about the fight, um, the pay-per-view tonight. And, um, yeah, I think that will be it. And uh, right now what I'm going to need to do is probably get me a drink and probably get this honey bun in my system right now and probably go visit my usual forums and whatnot and talk about the fight as much as I can before I pass out. <laughs> Alright, uh y'all have a good night. Peace.